Hello, everyone. Yes, bitch, she can sing. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, honey, you have found him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. You guys, we need to talk about this because I just remember saying this while I'm watching Beverly Hills Housewives, okay? So, um, Diana Jenkins, right? First, let's talk about Diana Jenkins. Um, when she first started, I was obsessed. I was loving it. I was like, yes, bitch, she's rich. She has drama. She has fashion. She will, you, she will, you know, curse you out. Then she started getting really cruel. And then all these things came out, you know, from ex-workers and then the black content creator thing. And I was just like, girl, bye. You know what I mean? But there was like this thing that I was like really wondering because her scenes, especially with her husband, Asher, or boyfriend, um, husband, um, I said this to my husband. You guys might know him, the real Andy Beverly Hills. Shout out to my hubby. Um, I said to him, I was like, this, Diana is literally, this is not American Idol. Like, this is freaking Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And like, it is so cringe when they talk about this music career that is not, does not exist, right? And they, they put him to sing. They've already, like, he's already sang like three, four times. And I'm like, girl, I feel like I'm Simon Cowell or Paul Abdul or, you know, uh, Randy Jackson or all the other whole, uh, judges that American Idol's had. And I'm like, but I, you know, I love the original trio. But I'm like, damn, this is not a fucking audition for, you know, American Idol or America's Next Got Talent or even X Factor. This is the Real Houses of Beverly Hills. You don't see Mauricio, like, yeah, we... Sorry, girl. We I get too excited. We have seen when we've gone to the agency, like, yes, but like, you know, we don't go around, you know, with him to sell houses. You know what I mean? We don't go around with PK doing whatever the fuck he does with Boy George. We don't go around, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I just think that it's like at this point, it's awkward. It's cringe to watch. He can sing. He's a great singer, but I'm like, girl, go to American Idol. Go to America's Next nice God Talent. You know what I mean? Well, anyways, there's some rumors out there that are saying that um, the only reason that Diana joined the show is to establish Asher's singing career and that she did actually create her own record label. So there is a bit of like a history of... Asher, so we're going to read it because let's give the man props if there's any to give. So I'm going to read you some of the highlights. So it says here that after getting his start in Chip and Beauty and the Beast's first national Broadway tour at age seven, um, Asher transitioned to the small screen, both acting and singing in ABC Family's Pop Rocks movie in 2004. His other early acting roles include appearances on Zoe 101, Jamie Lynn's stupid ass show, Justice for Britney, okay, um, Medium, and The Mentalist. A one-time student at the real New York City school the musical was based on, Asher also played Marco in 2007 Fame remake before guest starring in eight episodes of NBC's Parenthood. Uh, meanwhile, Asher later signed with Warner Brothers Records and, and as a lead singer for the band V Factor. He landed a top 40 single with 2009's Love Struck, no idea. Through the group shared stages with such acts as Kelly Clarkson, Pitbull, MC, Ham MC Hammer, not MC Hammer, and Flo Rider. They broke up the same year at which Asher became, began his solo career as the flagship artist signed to Diana's Empire Music Company. After working with artists such as Sean Kingston and One Republic's Ryan Todd, Tedder, Ashton, Asher dropped a music video with Chris Brown for their song Memory in 2004, and it gathered 2.7 million views. The following year, he also performed on the European leg of Brown's One Hell of a Night Tour. No idea what any of these things are, by the way, but doesn't mean that you, you might know it. Says, it seems Asher has taken a step back from his acting in recent years and is focusing on music. In 2012, Diana started her own independent record label, D Empire Entertainment, 
where Asher is signed as an artist. He released his album Talk With God in 2021 and released his new album Windows of Time on July 13th. Um, some of Asher's other musical endeavors include his album Inner Warrior from 2007 and a few EPs between 2013 and 2015. So listen, I was right, bitch. The only thing, because Diana, her net worth is like $300 million. Did you guys know that? I Googled her the other day. Me and my husband were in, we we're on a, um, on a road trip and we went down this like net worth thing where we, we searched like who's the richest housewife and all of these things so we're searching and she is literally the richest housewife just 300 million to her i mean her net worth i mean you know that's what google says so she does not need this but what she does need is the exposure because you can be rich but that doesn't guarantee that you are famous you know what i mean that's why like all of these like housewives friends that have a lot of money they try and get on the shows because they have the money but they don't have the popularity or fame anywho I honestly think it's super cringe um, every time that he sings. When she sat on the stairs and he was singing, I didn't know where to look. I didn't know where to hide. And the thing is, it's not, he does not have a bad voice. He has an incredible voice. He's he's cute. You know, he's, he's whatever. But I'm just like, that's not what I'm, that's not why I'm here. It's sort of like that, that scene of Dorit and PK at the dentist. Like it was way too long. And it was another scene when Lisa was with her with her daughter and her daughter's then boyfriend and they were looking in her garage of all of her old dresses. That scene lasted like 12 minutes. So I'm like, the, I mean, it's not the Asher American Idol audition tour. You know what I mean? And if she has $300 million and she still can't get him like known and trendy and famous. I'm like, girl, maybe you should reconsider another career. You know, and I'm not trying to be shady, Asher, because you can sing, okay? And from one singer to another, because yes, bitch, I consider myself a singer. <laughs> what? You don't <clears throat> Don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, whoa, don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, whoa, don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, whoa, don't be tardy for the party. Saturday, how does it start? Friday night? No. All night feeling grand now. I'm gonna with a glass of wine. I'm gonna dance for looking fine. All my girls trying to get in line. Headed back to VIP. So tight that I can't breathe. I look good in this heat. Sweat dripping all over me. Forget about worry. The stress of the week. Party all night and we won't go to sleep. We own the club, yeah, oh, we own the night. And I am not leaving till I see daylight. Don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, okay, this is where you say, oh, okay, ready? Don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, whoa, don't be tardy for the party. Whoa, okay, I'm done. I'm done. But you see what I mean, Asher? It's like from one musician to another, boo. You need to choose another show because I'm not here to watch your music journey. If I was here to watch your music journey, I would follow you, boo. I need Diana and Sutton to figure things out. I need Crystal to figure things. I need the drama with the ladies, you know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. And um, let me know. I mean, do you mind seeing Asher? Do you not mind? And should Diana stay on another season if... I mean, it's super obvious. This is fucking audition for her husband. Let me know. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.